Yes, members. Members? Yes. Can we proceed? Can we proceed? Yes, mm. teacher. All right. I said these portions, they are called what? They are called what? They are called quadrants. They are called what? Quadrants. This one, they are called quadrants. This is the first quadrant. Now, someone may ask, say, hey, teacher, why are we moving from, from right to left? I mean, from right to left. Why are we moving anti-clockwise? Why are we moving anti-clockwise? Anti Who can give me the reason why we are moving anti-clockwise? Hmm? Who can give me a reason why we are moving anti-clockwise in level then? One, why are we not putting one, two, three, four like this, but we are moving one, two, three, four. Who can give me the reason why we are moving anti-clockwise? Yes? Who can try? The senior threes who are here. You have already learned trigonometry. You are just reminding yourself. We are just revising. For senior three, we are just revising with them. But you have already studied this thing. Why do, why do we move anti-clockwise like this? Hmm? Who can give me the reason? Yes, please. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, members. Who can give me the reason why our leveling? We say this is first, second, third, fourth. Why not clockwise? Why are we not moving clockwise? Hmm? Why are we not leveling it clockwise, but we are leveling it anti-clockwise? Who can give me the reason for that? Hmm? Yes? Who can give me the reason why we are moving it anti-clockwise? Hmm? Maya? Oh, where is Maya? Maya is not there. I want to say senior city. Where are the senior cities? Sandra? 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 Yes? Why is that when we are leveling the quadrants, we level, we, we level them and we, as we move anti-clockwise? Why are we moving anti-clockwise? Why? Hmm? Why, members? Why? Sandra, why? Where else is in Senate 3? Wilma. Wilma, you are in Senate 3. Why, why do we have to move anti-clockwise? Why are we moving anti-clockwise in leveling the quadrants? Why? Why? Well, I don't know. We, we haven't yet learned it, but just section members. Really? Yet you have... Yeah, Sina, Sina teacher had told us to copy the notes, and then he was going to explain because they had separated day and body. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, people have given all their reasons. Line, do you want to try? Line, do you want to try? Azumta. <laughs> Azumta, do you want to try? Anyone from senior two want to try? Okay, members, the reason why we level them anti-clockwise is because angles are measured anti-clockwise. Angles are measured what? Anti-clockwise. Anti are you together? Members, are we together? Yes, teacher. What is the reason? Why? Who can give me? Angles are measured anti-clockwise. Because angles are measured anti Clockwise. You can even see our protractor here. I think our protractor here. Hmm? Hmm? So you see where zero is starting from. Hmm? Then we are moving like this. I think how we are moving. Eh? Hmm? So if you move clockwise, we are moving in reverse. That is negative. All angles which are negative are measured clockwise. Are right, together? So if you give you negative angle, don't ask, don't say there's a because angles. When we talk of angle, angle is the amount of turning from a given point. Angle is the amount of turning from a given point. So there are only two ways we can turn. We can either turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay? All right, together. But for the purpose of our, over the years, and mathematics has been proven from our forefathers, those people who discovered mathematics and trigonometry. They said because we have to move anti clockwise to determine a positive angle but if you move clockwise 
you are determining you are you are moving in reverse you are moving in what in reverse that's why we take them to be negative so that's our, that's also led us to the leveling of our quadrants so we level them clock clockwise i mean anti clockwise we level them anti clockwise so now from our diagram we are going to see the relations between the, these trigonometric ratios we want to see we want to investigate the relationship between these trigonometric ratios how does cos relate with sine how does sine relate with tan we want to see that relationship okay are you together members are we together yes teacher uh-huh so we said yes. by definition by what by what by definition comma we said sine theta is what is opposite over what over hypotenuse right so it means sine theta will be what what will be sine theta members what will be sine theta from our diagram here what is our opposite our opposite is it why why what is our hypotenuse our hypotenuse is what so which means it will become y over r. what y over what y over r mm -hmm. then cos cos of the angle theta which is it adjacent over hypotenuse so what is our adjacent from there from our diagram what is our adjacent x our adjacent is x, x. over r x over r good uh-huh then tan tan which is what opposite over adjacent is it what is it mm -hmm. our opposite is it y not sir? y over x x over what over x are you together are you together members yes uh -huh. so now we want to i want if i want to investigate something there's a way i must put them there's a way i must put them there's a way i must what i must put them now when you look at we said tan is equals to y over what y over what y over x but sine is y over r cos is x over r so how can i arrive to this how do i arrive to that how do i arrive to that so we are saying that tan theta tan theta you said but tan theta tan what theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta yes please if you have nothing to say please and mute your microphone mute your microphone yes uh-huh we are saying that tan theta is equals to sine theta over what over cos theta we shall see which means we must come back to this point which means we must come back to this point so so now we shall have tan theta which is the same as cos theta i mean sine theta over cos theta why are we saying that so it means it implies that tan theta what was sine theta members what was sine theta sine we got what y over y over what r not so y over what r divided by over cos what is cos cos we got cos we got x over what x over r are we together members are we together members are we together yes all right yes, yes. uh-huh so which means tan theta is equals to y over over r time i get the reciprocal of this so if you get the reciprocal it becomes r over what r over r over x so you find that r and r will disappear r and r will what disappear then you remain with so tan theta is equals to y over what over x that's the relationship we are investigating that's the only in relationship we are investigating so which means if they have given you cosine and cos, you can find tan. You can find what? Tan. Why? Because tan theta is the same as cos, I mean sine theta over what? Over cos. Are we together, members? Are we together? Are we together now? We are together. Yes, very good very good very good very good uh-huh now now 
There's something I want us to investigate also from here, but I will discuss it in a later stage. We shall discuss it in a later stage, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's come back here. Let's do, how do we use this formula here? How do we use this formula we have generated? How do we use this formula we have generated? How do we use this formula we have what? Generated. Uh-huh. Question number one is there. Question number one is there. How do we use trigonometric ratios to find angles? Work examples. Work what? Eh? Examples. Mm -hmm. They have said that consider a right angle triangle, a right angle triangle below, whose adjacent is three and opposite is two. Mm -hmm. Number one. So let's draw that right angle triangle. Let's draw that right angle triangle. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Let me say this is P, Q, R. It's not a mass that it must be A, B, C. Don't forget to put this symbol here because it's a right angle triangle. Mm -hmm. So let's say this angle, uh -huh. which symbol should I use? This time I'm going to use, I'm going to use beta. I'm going to use what? Beta, because those are the symbol we use for angles. Those are the symbol we use for angles. So what have they said from the statement here? They have said, consider a right angle triangle whose adjacent is three. So where is our adjacent? Members, where is our adjacent? Where is our adjacent? Members, where is our adjacent? Hmm? What is our adjacent? A, B. Is it A, B? I'm seeing, I'm seeing P, Q. Don't cram. Don't cram. P, Q. Mm -hmm. Our adjacent is P, P, Q. So they have said this would be what? Three? Three centimeters. Uh-huh. Then opposite. Which side is our opposite? Which side is our opposite? R, Q. Q, R, not so? And I've said is what? They have said is what? Two? Two centimeters. Two centimeters. So what is missing from here? Opposite. Opposite is missing. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay. Hypotenuse is missing. Hypotenuse is what? Eh? Missing. But we can't find it. We don't. If you don't know this angle. Okay. We are first to find this angle. Are we going to find this angle using the trigonometric what? Ratios. Using the trigonometric what? Ratios. So, solution. Mm -hmm. Part A, they want us to find tan beta. Tan what? Tan beta. We know that tan is equal to what? Tan is opposite over, over what? Over adjacent. Daisy. Mm hmm. Just a minute, remember, just a minute, just a minute. Teacher. Yes. So is, it, is it tan beta over tan theta? I've, I've altered the question because I don't want people to cram what is in the book. They can put any angle. Okay? Okay? Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. So can we continue? So from the screen, you are seeing theta. But for me, I've decided to use what? To use beta. It still means the same thing, members. It still means the same what? The same thing. The concept remains the same. The concept remain the what? Eh? The same. The same. Uh-huh. So now, what is our opposite? So tan theta, I mean tan beta is going to be, our opposite is what? is two. So two centimeter over what? Over three centimeter. The centimeter and the centimeter will cancel out. I think that. Hmm? So therefore, tan beta is two over what? Is two over three. You leave it in like that because there are ratios. There are ratios. You don't put them in the small point, please. Because they are what? Eh? They are ratios. 
Are you together, members? Are we together? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Don't put them in decimal point unless if you want to find this angle. Unless if you want to find this angle. So we can go ahead and find that angle. So what is this angle beta here? Members, what is this angle beta? Can we find that angle beta? If you remember, what do we do? We find the sine inverse. Do you remember that? Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. So which means also tan beta, which is equal to 2 over what? Fd, which means beta is equal to what? We call it akatan. We call it aka what? The akatan. So which means beta is equal to, can you find that angle? So 2 divided by Fd, we get that. Shift tan. So what is the angle? 33.6. And I said protractors, our protractors give us to, um, to zero to a whole number, not so. So can you give me as a whole number? So what is the angle in a whole number? You start a, You start a what? 34. 34. So that angle is 34 degrees. Uh huh. In B, they want us to find sine theta. Sine theta. We know that sine theta is what? Members, what I'm using, if you have forgotten, I said, what do you do? You go to soccer. Soccer tour. Soccer tour. Uh huh. Sine is what? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I think that. Sine is what? Opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is equals to, uh -huh. what is our opposite? Our opposite is two over, what is our hypotenuse? Hypotenuse we don't know. So we shall, we shall make it to remain P2. I mean PR. We shall just put it in terms of the letters because we don't know. Because we what? Eh? We don't know. Are we together? Members, yes. members, are we together? You. Don't tell me, we can go ahead and find this one. Like the senior theory can go ahead. How, what, which formula are you going to use to find this one? We are going to use Pythagoras? P. P of them. But we, I don't want us to go there yet. It's still coming ahead. Okay? All right, together. I still want, don't, I don't want to go there yet. Uh-huh. Then C, they want us to find cause of angle beta. Sorry, this is supposed to be beta. This is supposed to be beta. Uh-huh. We know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So which means our cos beta will be our adjacent, which is what? Fd divided by hypotenuse, which is what? P, P what? Pr over Pr over what? Pr. Are we together members? Are we together? So now, can we go ahead using our Pythagoras theorem now? Using Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras what? Theorem, which we already all know. Which we all know. Which we all know. Pythagoras theorem. Subheading, Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras what? Theorem. Consider, consider a right angle triangle. Consider a right angle triangle. A, B, C, A, B, C. Mm -hmm. Members, are you following me? Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. This is A, B, C, A, B, C. Mm -hmm. So if this is A, this is B, and then this is C. Okay? Okay? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras, sorry, Pythagoras theorem states that, states that, or is given by, Okay. A C squared is equals to A B squared plus B C squared. Okay. The longest yes. side. And this one is applicable for any triangle. Is applicable for any triangle. So A B is what? Is C. 
So this is C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. So this is what we call Pythagoras theorem. That's what we call Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So can we prove it? Can we prove this theorem? Whether it works? Can we prove it? Can we prove it? So if this is my right angle triangle, let me prove it. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. Suppose we say this, this is A, B, mm -hmm. this is three centimeter. Mm -hmm. Then this is two centimeter. Mm -hmm. To find this one here, it must be the sum of squares of these two. Right together. It must be the sum of squares of this what? Two. Okay. Right together, members. And is this one a, a Pythagoras theorem is only applicable for right angle triangle? Is only applicable for right angle what? Triangle. So you said using Pythagoras, using Pythagoras theorem. Mm -hmm. which is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared you should know what c is standing for you should know what a is standing for you should know what b is standing for c is the longest side c is the longest what side i right, together members c is the longest what side of the triangle so which means c squared will be equals to what is a a is three not so plus two squared so c squared is equals to nine plus four Nine plus what? Nine four. plus four. So which means our C squared will be equals to? Thirteen. 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 Then we get the square root. We get the what? The square root of that. So which means C is equals to? So what is the square root of 13? Square root of 13. What do we get? Three point? Three point six. Is three point what? Point six. Centi, centi what? Meters. Centimeters. So which mean, which mean this one here, from here up to here is three point six centimeters long. Is three point six centimeter what? Long. Right together. So we have got this one. We have got this. So this one was supposed to be what? Three point, three point six centimeters. So can you come and fit in this one? So with me now, sine beta, sine beta will be two over what? Over three point, over three point, two over what? Three point, three point six. Uh-huh, then cos, cos beta will be three over three point, three point six. Is it, are we together members? Members, are we together? Yes. All right. So how do we find the angle? How do we find the angle? How do we find the angle? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have already got the angle, not so. We have already got the, the angle is 34. Mm -hmm. That one, we have already got it. So let's move to example number two. Let's move to example number two. Number two, I've said, find the length indicated as X in the figure below. Find the length indicated as X in the figure below. That's why I didn't give me any beam. Hmm? Gabriela? Banana. Gabriela? Yes? What are you saying? No. Mm, you are talking from there. Mm -hmm. This is X. This is it. The angle would have said is 35 degrees. So are we going to find this side X? Are we going to find X members? Are we going to find X? There are two methods here. There are how many methods? Methods. So here, because we don't know, you use Pythagoras theorem if you know two sides. You use Pythagoras theorem if you know how many sides? Two sides to find the other one. Like for this one, can we use Pythagoras theorem here, members? Can we use Pythagoras theorem? 
No. Five over theorem cannot work here because we don't know this. We don't know this side. Okay. So what should we use? What should we use? We should use trigonometric what ratios. We should use the trigonometric what ratios. And what is yes. being what is given? This is our what? This is our opposite. Then this is our adjacent. Then this is our hypotenuse, right? Yes. So you said from soccer tower. From so okay. So Kotoa. So Kotoa. Uh huh. We want to find this. We want to find adjacent and opposite is given. So which trigonometric ratio should we use? Should we use sine? Should we use cos? Should we use tangent? Which one should we use? I know opposite, and I want to find the adjacent and the angle. I know the angle is given. So what should we use? Is it tan? Is it sine? Is it cos? Which one should we use? Tangent. Hmm? We use tangent. So good. Using, using tan of any angle theta. That one you are defining. Mm -hmm. Tan theta is what? Opposite over over adjacent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So tan. What is the angle? Theta is given to be theta. That what? Tan. Tata. Uh huh. Theta is given to be theta, 35 degrees. A equals to, what is our opposite? Our opposite is four over our adjacent, which is what? Our adjacent, which is X. All of this is the same as one, cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, you will have X tan of 35 degrees equals to four. So divide all through by tan of 35 degrees. Divide all through by tan of 35 degrees. This and this will cancel that. Mm -hmm. So you find that our x will be equal to 4 over tan 35 degrees. So x is equal to. So make sure that your calculator is in degrees. Make sure that your calculator is in what? In degrees. So start by resetting your calculator. So show that your calculator. It must be indicating D. It must be indicating what? D. So can we press that? So we shall say 4 divided by tan 35. What do you get? Are you getting 5.7? Members, are you getting 5.7? 5.71259. But we know that this one is a length and we are recording in centimeters. We said they are recorded to one decimal place. They are recorded to one decimal place. So therefore we can take our answer to be 1.7 centi centimeters. This one is to one DP. To one decimal place. Remember, is that what you have got? Remember, is that what you have got? Yes, teacher. All right. All right. All right. Uh huh. Number three. Let's look at question number three. Question number three. Mm -hmm. That one, they have drawn it in, an, in a very unique way, but now they're just confusing you. They want to see if you know a right angle, if you know how to identify a right angle, like that. Like that. So the symbol, this symbol is, this one indicates that it's a right angle. So this is X, this is Y. Then they've said that this angle is started to, 0.2 degrees. Then this one is eight centimeters. That one is eight centimeters. So members, members, members. Yes, please. Yes, teacher. Find for me X and Y. That's your work. Find, work it out. Find for me X and Y using soccer tower. Find for me the value of X and Y. So you find, members, if you are to look at this one carefully, what is our adjacent? What is our adjacent? 
Look at the angle. Look at the angle. And look. What is our adjacent? What is our adjacent? Adjacent is X, not Y. Is it Y? Look at the angle. You determine the adjacent with the angle, please. Look at this angle and look at this line here. This symbol here for the 90 degrees. So our adjacent is what? Is what? X. I together, members. Our adjacent is what? X. Then Y, what is Y? Y is it? So this is our adjacent. Then this one become our opposite. Then this one become our hypotenuse. Have you seen that? Members, have you seen that? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So go ahead and use Sokotoa to find the value of those. Go ahead and find that what is given. So they want us to find the value of X and Y. So if I want to find X, what should I use? If I want to find X. Hmm? No. Hmm? You use sign. Good. Cosine. Mm -hmm. So from sine of any angle theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine, our angle, which is 32.2 degrees, is equals to our opposite, which is y over, over. So for this one, if you are using sine, we find y. Opposite, which is y, uh -huh, over adjacent, which is x. I mean, over hypotenuse, sorry, which is eight. Over hypotenuse, which is eight. So you find now, this is, I said this is the same as over one, cross multiply. You find y is equals to eight, sine of 32.2 degrees. So what do you get? Therefore, our y is equals to, what do you get? What do you get? Eight, sine of 32.2. What do you get, members? What do you get? Um, four point two six three zero. Four point two six three zero. Mm -hmm. Therefore, our y is equals to four point what? Four point four point three centi centimeters. Because when you are using when you are measuring a ruler, you measure to only one decimal place. For them, I've changed the equation because I want to see people who don't concentrate. From, from that, I've given 33, but for me, I've decided to put 32.2 .2 so that I see people just copy things. Uh huh. So to find X, what should we use to find X? Hmm? Which trigonometric ratio should we use to find X? We have used Y. I mean, we have used sine to find Y. Which one should we use to find X now? Hmm? We use cos, perfect. We use cos. So we said from cos of any angle theta, which is given by adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos, the angle was given to be 32.2 degrees equals to our adjacent, which is x over hypotenuse, which is what? Eight. So this one is over one, cross multiply. I said, when you are cross multiplying, don't show me that you are cross multiplying. Do it from your art. Don't put your pen there that you are cross multiplying. So X is equals to eight cos 32 point what? Two degrees. Therefore, what do you get? What is our X? Can someone press it first very fast? Eight cos 32.2. What do we have there? Six point? Six point seven. Six. Nine five, not so. Uh huh. So if you round it to one decimal place, what do you get? So therefore, our x is what six point six point seven six point eight. If you round it up to one decimal place, yes, to one dp. Okay, okay. Eight. So there we are. There we are. Members, we have only five minutes remaining. We have only five minutes remaining. We have only five minutes remaining.
We have only five minutes, what? Remaining. Exercise, exercise. Even if you people, the exercise in the morning, some of you did not send their work up to now. Some of you have not sent their work up to now. Be very careful. We never got the question. Be very careful. Be very what? Eh? Careful. So we only the meeting before we got the question. Now you hear their the excuse. Okay, I'm going to send the it's question. True. I'm going to get the question on. I'm going to send the question on WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Then how come that Maya has got the question? Where did she get the question from? I mean, you are not mm -hmm. you are not attentive in class. Uh-huh. Find the value. Find the value of x. Find the value of x. Mm -hmm. So this is the triangle. It's not also what you a b c like that so they've said this angle here this angle is 60 degrees okay that angle is 60 degrees mm -hmm. then this is x i'm talking about then this one they've said is 14 centimeter Mm -hmm. That one is 14 centimeter. Then this one, this one I'll call it, let's also this one be Y. Find the value of X and Y. Find the value of X and what? And Y. That's number one. Number two. Number two. Number two. Members. Members? Yes. Are you writing the question? Are you writing the question? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So this angle is theta. That angle is theta. Mm -hmm. They've given this one is four centimeter. Four centimeter. Mm -hmm. Let me say this one. Mm -hmm. Let's say this angle is, uh, let me say is, uh, which letter should I use here? Let me say is it? N. X. Let me use M. E. Uh -huh. Let's mm. say is M. Okay. Is M. But we are finding X and Y. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is another question. Okay. So what should we find? Okay, I, I can find X. Okay, so it's, it's okay. We can make it X. There's no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Then this one I will make it to be. This, this one. Let, mm -hmm, no, 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 no. This one. Let me say easy. Two centimeters. Okay. Okay. So for this question, is it find the value, find the length x and the size the size of the angle theta and the size of the angle theta. Find the length x and the size of the angle what? Theta. Okay? Members? Members? Yes, teacher. Have you put it down? Our time is out. Yes. Our, our time is out now. No. Our time is out. We have less than we have less than a minute, please. Our time is out. Our time is out. Have you put the question down? Finally. <laughs> you are through, eh? Yes. yes. Okay. Members, have a nice day, please. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.